story is called The Emperor's New Clothes. Can we say The Emperor's New Clothes? The Emperor's New Clothes. Hello, my name is Miss Piri Beauty. Paso is my other name. I teach grade one at Mama Private School. Um, basically, I'm going to talk about the importance of storytelling. Why, is, why we should do it in schools. Okay, last time I read the story entitled The Three Little Pigs. So today we're going to look at the Emperor's Windows. I want you to pay attention. First thing that you have to do is go through the rules with your children. You explain to them that you're about to tell a story and they should be behaved. You ask them, those who need to use the, the bathroom, they can go and use the bathroom so they don't distract you when you start the, the storytelling. So it's important that you have, first you have to tell the children what you're going to do. You're going to tell a story. They should know that you're going to tell a story to them. Long ago, there lived an emperor who loved new clothes. He had clothes for the morning and he had different clothes for the afternoon. He also had special clothes for the evening. When you do that, you line them up, take them to the toilet, to the bathroom. Then you, you, you do that so they don't disturb you as you are doing the storytelling. So when they come back, you make them feel relaxed. You find a comfortable place for them to sit. Then you can start the storytelling. And you, the teacher, has to be comfortable as well. The way you sit matters. Your posture matters. Yes. Tell me about your special cloth, said the emperor. The weavers told the emperor that their cloth was so special that anyone who couldn't see it must be very stupid. The emperor was even more pleased. Look at his eyes. He's very pleased. I think it encourages children to build on their vocabulary, even just for self-expression. Children tend to learn how to express themselves. You find even those children that are very, uh, very, or children that are very quiet, they come out when it's time for storytelling, you find bit by bit, as you go on, they start opening up to the teacher, open up, opening up to their friends. So it really builds uh, their confidence. The viewers wanted to start work. We need God's bread, they said. The emperor gave them lots and lots of gold thread to make their special clock. So when you're doing the storytelling, as a teacher, you need to know how to express the story. Because you're the one who's saying the story, so you have to come out like you are there. The children should feel it that all. Oh, they should experience that feeling that they are actually there in the story. And like just reading it out, you know. Show uh, expressions where there's something dramatic happening, you show it. Where there's something exciting, you have to show it as a teacher. So when you do that, you find children now start imitating you. And through the imitation, they learn to do the storytelling, they learn to, to use good intonations, to use good language, good vocabulary. He has worked very hard. The loom that made cloth went backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. Click, clack, click, clack, it went. That is the loom. It's used to make thread. Finding stories, you can you find stories on? Uh, we have these internet is there. We have modern uh, equipment. You can use your phone. You can go to Pinterest. Uh, look, uh, you can go to YouTube. You can even use just these simple books in class. Make sure they're making my clothes nicely. And the prime minister, yes, sir. Yes, my emperor. On it right away. Let me go and see. If you, have, if you are fortunate enough to have a library in your school, make use of the library. And each, each, each child, uh, the children have certain levels of books that they should uh, read. So as a teacher, you also consider that. You can't read a, sto a story for grade sevens to five-year-old receptions or grade ones, you know. So even the story itself matters. 
there are certain stories that would would be so long and dragging so children find it boring they start making noise so for smaller children you choose the right stories to tell the weavers that go and bring the clothes so the guard went there excuse me may i please have the emperor's clothes and then the weaver said oh right away we're coming and then we're going there to we'll go and pick up so he also said, oh, it's nice. I can see the emperor's clothes. They look so nice. Parents should bring their children here because the system here is in such a way that children are kept busy. Uh, children are, are learning to interact with one another. You know, there's uh, also the reading program which happens here where should, everyone, the whole school, even the security guard at the gate, the workers outside, they know that reading time is drop everything you're doing, let's start reading. That system is a very good system. I think schools should emulate this. It encourages children to have time to read. Even the interest counts when they do this. And the emperor said, Are you silly? You think I'm foolish? Where are my clothes? And the, and the river said, Oh, sorry, emperor. Their clothes are very special, so you can't see them with your eyes. So please put them on. And they started dressing him up. Then... Um, my last words are that reading is a very important tool to have. It will take you far, to take you many places. And you'll find that one, there's these same children that we tell stories to, when they grow up, some of them are going to be very good writers, script writers. They can find themselves in Hollywood making movies just by storytelling.